Have you seen our Make It Christmas with Three Yard Quilts book? Well, it's not just for Christmas anymore. Keep watching. Hi, it's Donna Robertson. And Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. You know, Make It Christmas with Three Yard Quilts was one of the most popular books we ever brought out. And it's such a great book with lots of Christmas fabrics. But what if you want fabrics for all year long? Well, we have some great ideas for you. So let's get started. Now this one is Bobbles. And whenever I designed this quilt, I got so excited. You know, sometimes I have an idea and I think, can I do it, can I do it? And when it came together, I thought it was adorable. But you know, you could use this one all year long just by not using Christmas fabric, but you could use it for other times like the spring, etc. So let's put this on the table and talk about it. You know, when I look at this fabric, it makes me think of a strawberry festival. Oh, it does. I love, yeah. I love the red and white together. I do too. <laughs> so pretty. So when summertime comes along and you're ready to give that little fresh look to your house, you can just add a little strawberry flavoring oh. to the bobbles and it is gorgeous. And you know, I have heard that some folks are taking this and turning it upside down so they're more like lollipops. So maybe they're strawberry lollipops. Oh, that's <laughs> a great idea. So you could, and you could even put little bows. I just oh. think it would be cute with a little bow on there. So just, just imagine it. If you have the book, you just turn it around so you can look at it like a lollipop. Yeah, perfect. Now, in this case, we have our number one fabric, which we always say is your focus fabric. This is going to be one that gets a lot of play, and it's the one that your eye will go to first when you're looking at the quilt. Right. So we're going to put this focus fabric here, and then we're going to make a, this is kind of an elongated, instead of squares, it is rectangles in a four patch. That's very clever. Yeah, <laughs> and I like that because this was kind of a long skinny block, so I had to I had to do the coordinating block to be a long skinny block, so <laughs> well, I made them rectangles. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our number one fabric going here. And then notice how we've used all three of the fabrics, the number one, two, and three in that block. So the number two is your background fabric. That's going to be what causes the design element to pop off of the surface of the quilt. So we've got that here in this section in each one of these uh, blocks with your ornament or your lollipop. Mm -hmm. And then your third one is going to be your accent color. That's going to kind of ground your quilt and it's going to go in your borders and in the alternate blocks here. And as you can see, we have used it for some of our little strings here. Yeah. So Very I think cute. it turned out really Very cute. Fun. Now this one is called Flower Farm number 8023226. It's Bobbles from Make It Christmas and an alternate pattern would be Urban Chic. Now our next quilt is Evergreen, and I think this is so darling made in these spring colors like that because we have our nice bright green trees that are fun, nice little nine patch here, but what's really great is right beside it here we have our Christmas version of Evergreen, and you can see what it looks like in Christmas fabrics. So it can be either Christmassy or it can be really summery in springtime. So let's put this spring one up on the table and check out that fabric. Now, I just thought this turned out so cute in these springtime colors. I thought they were fabulous. You know, sometimes you just have to use your imagination. Honestly, I never thought about this being in spring, but whenever the, the uh, evergreens start blooming in the springtime, they get those little blue-green kind of a flower you on the end of it. right. <laughs> I didn't think about that either. This is the perfect fabric. It is. <laughs> it, it really is. It kind of looks the way they look whenever they first start blooming like that. Yeah. And you know, this is a really fun block to put together. I know that whenever we first started designing it, and I thought, okay, how am I going to do this? It just kind of fell easy. I mean, it was just so fun and it just made the perfect tree as an alternate for our nine patch. So super fun. Maybe we should get the cropping tool so I can right. show how this is made because it's so fun. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. So let's start by just looking at the entire block. So I think sometimes just seeing that entire block really helps. I think so too. So let's start at the bottom and we're going to work our way up. So the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to build a unit and this unit is basically built with um, a half square triangle here. Let me just kind of move this so you can see it. And then we're just going to put a square in the middle there and then another half square triangle there. So you sew all of these together and what this does is make the bottom part of the tree. That's so cool. Very simple. Now we have our middle unit here. So I'm gonna shift this up. Now on the middle part of our tree, 
It's very similar, but just a little bit different. So we still have two half square triangles, one here and one here. But on the sides, we have just a little strip. That's how you did that. That's yeah. cool. And then a little <laughs> rectangle in the middle and then a little strip on this side. So when we expand this and you see that whole middle unit there, you can see that, let me get this right. <laughs> mm -hmm. So strip, half square triangle, rectangle, half square triangle, strip. Very, you're so very clever. simple. So it goes together really fast, <laughs> you know. And it's kind of fun to do because you're kind of building your tree. It's like growing as you're making it. Yes. <laughs> and blooming in this case. <laughs> and so the top section of our tree, it always takes me just a minute to get this lined up because I got to make sure I got it on the seams. So we have our two half square triangles in the middle mm -hmm. and then we have a rectangle on each side. That is such a clever way to build that block. So very fun. And then it creates this fun tree. So I love, I love it. it. Yep. All right, let's look at this fabric because right. this is darling. And I love your concept mom of the, the evergreens <laughs> blooming. That is exactly <laughs> what this looks like. So our focus fabric, lovely green is of course in our tree here as well as on the border. Mm -hmm. And then we have our fun background fabric, which is a nice clean springy white with the little blue flowers that pick up some of the blue in our focus fabric too. This is going to be in our nine patch and then in our background of our evergreen. And then our number three is really picking up that light blue. This will be in our nine patch on the border and binding. And it just picks up the blue flower so perfectly. So just super, super cute. You know, I thought it was really clever the way that you showed the two quilts so that you could see it in the Christmas and in the spring. Yes. And if you want to see all of these quilts done in Christmas fabric, Check out our video. Oh, and it's, it is fun. It is It fun. is really different how different they look too. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. All right, let's get to kit information on this. Our kit name is Farmhouse Favorite and the number is 8023227. The pattern is evergreen from our Make It Christmas book and our recommendation as an alternate is Christmas Forest. Now this one's called Traditions. And I love making star quilts. I just love it. And in this case, it is doubly a star because I think in any garden, hydrangeas are definitely the star of the show. So let's put that on the table and talk about this one. I love hydrangeas. This is a gorgeous quilt. It is a gorgeous quilt. You know, it looked magnificent in oh. Christmas, but it oh. is gorgeous in hydrangeas. It is. So be sure and check out that video because really, <laughs> I mean, this, okay, I have to say, Mom, this uh -huh. quilt has become one of my go-to patterns. Oh, really? So like whenever I do any of the matchmakers or I have a, a fabric that I mm -hmm. really want to showcase, this is the quilt that I usually Aww. end up going back to because well, it's fabulous. <laughs> yes, it is. You should. Oh my but goodness. I, I, <laughs> I love stars. I do. I really do. And it's just, you know, this is another one that's just so super simple to put together. And you'd think, okay, how do you do? I mean, this is me. I look at quilts and I go, I wonder how they did that. <laughs> That's why we're always showing you how oh, we yeah. do it. Yeah. So this is going to be our focus fabric and it's going to go in the center of our big block. I like that. Yes. And then that is going to be bordered with that number three fabric. Oh, gorgeous. And then our number two fabric, as I repeat often, this fabric is going to be your background so that you can really see the elements of the quilt. And so that this is a real pale, pale blue. It just coordinates yeah. perfectly with this. Style. It has a great texture to it as well. I really like that. Yes, I love that texture. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm, I'm not a real big fan. I know a lot of people love solids, but I'm not a big fan of using solids in my quilts because I want every inch of it to be interesting. <laughs> so even though it's subtle, it's interesting. It is, and it really helps the other two colors pop. I mean, it really shows yeah. that star off well, which is the reason why I like it. Well, it's one of those things, it's, it's like the silent partner, but it just really does add a little zing to your quilt. So really think about that when you're picking out your number two to let it have a little interest too. Yeah. Now this is our number three and what a beautiful, beautiful color. And you know, I love wearing this particular color, but it looks great in a quilt too. <laughs> Yeah, we like it in our quilts, probably in, more in our clothes, huh? It's more important in our quilts. <laughs> yes, it's very important in our quilts. So this one is called Traditions. Is and your, uh -huh. you know, I want to mention to everyone before we read the kit information, oh, okay. just really quick, this is gorgeous fabric. And if you're interested in maybe adding an extra border or maybe doing some throw pillows or something, we have this mm -hmm. fabric by the yard. 
And that is really handy. So if you do have that little extra project mm -hmm. that you want to do, um, be sure and check that out on our website. It's at Fabric Cafe and then Fabric, the Fabric Tag. Right, the little Fabric Tag. That's a really good, that's a really good suggestion. Now this one is called Hydrangea Bliss 8023230 and it's the Traditions pattern from Make It Christmas and the alternate pattern would be Heartland. Our next pattern is Garland. Now I just thought this one was so much fun because it's, you know, we named them a little bit Christmas names because, you know, garlands from a tree. But this one is like a vertical row here. You've got that great vertical movement with a little pinwheel in between to give it a little flair on your garland. But this one is made in really fun colors. So I love the brightness of the fabric here with our floral and then the nice pop of the black and white. Let's stick it on the table and check out that fabric. Mom, I just love all of the gorgeous colors in this floral fabric. They're so vibrant. They really are. Mm -hmm. And I really think that the black background helps them pop. And really, it almost looks like jewels at midnight or something. Yes. Because it's just, they're so vibrant. And you know, we forget how important um, flowers are to the butterflies. You know, that new garden I just put in? It, it has that, that dirt in the background. And then I did a grass garden, but I put a spot or two of color and I want you to know the minute that I put that first plant in the ground the butterflies started coming Wee. I was like whoa this is kind of fun wow. and I think sometimes I must have butterfly in my blood because I'm drawn <laughs> to the, the bright colors <laughs> just fluttering along quilting yeah yeah <laughs> well I really do like this and it's kind of funny because black has kind of gotten to be a little bit of a, a staple for me because I, I'm pulling the black from the background and putting it in the number three. And I think it works beautifully for oh, this. Oh, it does. It really makes that color so, pop even more. So we've got our focus. It's in our pinwheel block here and then in our alternate block here. Now this is, this quilt's easy to do. This is just a strip piece block. So mm -hmm. it's super simple. And then we have it on our border. Now to really help our colors and our blacks to Pop, we've put it with this great white texture and we've got it in our alternate block in our strip assembly as well as our pinwheel and that really helps just I mean it, mm -hmm. you s really see it because of the contrast and I love the texture on this one it mm -hmm. kind of has that flow and then our next one is the black with the gray to really help anchor our focus fabric and one of the things that I love to mention is that that number three fabric its main job is to bring attention to the focus. And I think in this case, it frames it nicely and it does that. So really, really like this one. And I love all the contrast in it and all of those jewel tones. Can I point out something? Because, you know, sometimes when we show this fabric, you can't really see the grain on the screen. Mm -hmm. But if you want to know what this looks like, it's just like this, only it's white on white. Yes, thank you for pointing that yeah. out. You're right. So it's like the wind blowing in the garden. Are the, <laughs> from the wings of the butterfly. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we love to make up fabric stories. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you work on it. When you're p piecing this, that's what I do is I start making up stories about what, what the story of this fabric and quilt all together is. <laughs> that's a true statement. <laughs> I do that all the time. Okay, let's get the kit info for you. This kit is called Garden Glow. The number is 802323, and it is the garland pattern from Make It Christmas with Three Yard Quilts, and our alternate suggestion is gallery. Now, the next one is favorite things, and, you know, this is rapidly becoming my favorite thing, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in a minute. It's the Asian influence on some of our prints, but this one is a real fast pattern. It'll go together in a hurry, and as John has started calling it, uh, they're half snowballs. <laughs> Let's put it up on the table. So, you know, when we went shopping last week uh -huh. and we went into a store, Fran had been telling me everything is starting to take on a little bit of an Asian flair mm -hmm. in decorating. And sure enough, we saw it all <laughs> over that store. It's that, amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's almost like you go to bed one night and the next morning you get up and you see a lot of <laughs> influence in different ways. But this fabric is so fun and bright and jewel tone. Yes. I love mm -hmm. the jewel tones on this. And I love these two prints together. I love the way that you've used them mm -hmm. here. And it's the perfect way to see how that number two really sets off your other colors. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put in our focus fabric in the number one spot. It'll also be out here on the border. Okay. And then our number two is the background. 
and that's causing our half snowballs uh, <laughs> to, <laughs> to really pop. And if you wonder why I'm, I'm saying this, this is made just like a snowball block, except you don't cut off all four corners, you're yeah, only doing two corners. It's half as fast. It's half again as fast because you're only doing two corners. <laughs> That's right. So you can get this one made faster than a snowball yep. quilt. Okay. Then our number three fabric is, again, you can see the fans and you can see the peacocks. And Gorgeous. they're just really pretty. That's yep. going to go in a number three spot here and here. And I, I like this one. This is really a lot of fun. This one is called Floral Paradise. 8023228. It's called Favorite Things from the book Make It Christmas, and the alternate pattern would be Dash. Our next pattern is called Fireside, and is this not bold, beautiful, and gorgeous? Love this large print and this big block here. Of course, alternated with a little uh, rectangular block and square here. Um, I Whenever I named this fireside, I thought, oh, well, these look like bricks on the hearth. And here's our lovely spotlight, like our fire. It's just gorgeous. And we've got a little something special on this fabric. So let's put it on the table and share it with you. All right, this fabric is amazingly gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Again, it is so pretty. And you know, I think it could go any time of year, but I also think this one could still stay out at Christmas because it has all of those rich, vibrant colors. And a little glitter. And just a little sparkle. Mm -hmm. So all of our flowers are outlined in a little bit of that metallic gold, which I love. It is so pretty. And I think the gold off the black background shines even more. Mm -hmm. I really think the black highlights it. So nice, lovely, gorgeous print here in our nice big block on the quilt and a little on the border to bring that color to the outer edges. Then we have our number two. Once again, gorgeous metallics in this. Just little hints of green, purples and blues that bring in all of the purples and blues and greens in our focus. That is on the center of our alternate blocks here and of course on the binding. Love that little bit of metallic on there. Now to really get our metallic going in our gold, which is such a gorgeous thing. I know <laughs> I have gold and brass in my house all over the place, so this would just be fabulous in there. Love the green. It's really framing out both our number one and our number two fabrics and really catches the light just beautifully. This is one of those quilts that would go in the category of stunning. Yes, yeah. I have to agree with you. Whenever we got, you know, so little story, we have our, our pattern stitchers, our testers that make all of our tops. And it's kind of an event around here when we get a package <laughs> from one of them. And, you know, we're all hovering around because Hannah gets to open the packages. She's, you know, she, she's our gatekeeper a little bit <laughs> because we would be tearing into them like. <laughs> so we open the packages and it is breathtaking when we see these made up for the first time. Mm -hmm. And it, this is one of those I'm like, oh. Well, I have to say, one of my favorite times is when Hannah comes to our office and says, would y'all like a quilt show? Yeah, <laughs> And we're like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so this is truly gorgeous. And I remember unpackaging this one thinking it was just stunning. fabulously stunning. Mm -hmm. Yes, it takes your breath away. Okay, let's get the kid info on this. It is called Opulent Bouquet. The number is 8023229. It is the fireside pattern from the Make It Christmas book, and we are suggesting picture perfect. Now this one is called Twinkles. And you know, Fran mentioned earlier that we tried to pick out kind of Christmassy uh, names for it. And I felt like this sort of looked like the way the lights twinkle on your, you know, we have to use our imagination, on your tree. And uh, so I named this one Twinkles, and we're gonna put this on the table. Now, I thought, Mom, that you mm -hmm. named this quilt Twinkles because of that little starburst that's in Bob's eye when he sees you. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> oh, yes, you know, after all of these years, we still love each other very, very of much. Of course. And I do still put a little twinkle in his eye occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, since we're focusing on the twinkle, uh -huh. let's go ahead and crop it, and oh, I'll show them yes. how it's made. Because it is a super simple block, and it's made, as we like to refer to it, it's made sort of like a nine patch. Mm -hmm. It's just, we kind of jazz up the nine patch. Instead yeah. of just squares, we are going to create some half square triangles. So, you know, a nine patch, we would just have block, 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 block. <laughs> yes. This one is gonna have a half square triangle here, 
And then we're also going to have another half square triangle here. Yep. And then we're going to do another half square triangle here. Perfect. So you put those three together and you've got one of the segments of your nine patch. That's Perfect. pretty easy. That isn't is it? easy. Now we're going to repeat the process here, but we're going to put a plain block in the middle with yeah. your half square triangles. And then this one is simply turned and put over here. Oh. And voila, you have a twinkle block. That is super simple. Yeah, super, super simple. And then, of course, the number one block is the easiest of them all. It is a square. <laughs> yes. So we love those quilts where we have a square and a fancy block. Mm -hmm. So this is our uh, plain block here, our number one. And these, these almost look like looking through a kaleidoscope, don't they? Oh, they do. You know how a kaleidoscope changes when you turn it? And that's just gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It is really gorgeous fabric. All of these colors are just so vibrant and mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, I love the way the manufacturers just kind of keep us falling in love with fabrics, <laughs> but changing them for every season and give us something new and different. So here is our number two. And talk about interest in the number yes. two. But it really works. It does. It picks up all of those colors that are in your florals. And then we use our number three fabric for our accent and to really cause it to really just nice pop, pop off the surface yep. of the quilt. Nice pop. Lots of movement on this quilt. Love it. Yes, I really do like it too. Now, uh, this one is called Splash of Color 8023232. Mm. Twinkles is the pattern from the book Make It Christmas. And the alternate pattern would be Friendship Star. All right, our next pattern is Wonderland. And is this not one just, just like clean laundry, fresh air in the springtime? Such sweet fabric. And this really fun block that I'm going to crop for you because it's a little unique. So let's stick this one on the table and check out the fabric. First, let's look at this block because it, it is a little bit tricky and sometimes hard to see but it's actually a very, very simple block. So here it is here and how this is made. So we have a nice big rectangle here and then we have a unit that is made with a half square triangle and a rectangle. And we've just sewn those together and then sewn it to one side of the block. So that's the whole block right there. Mm -hmm. What creates that great pinwheel is you're taking these and making them in two different colorways and then rotating them. So when the corners of the blocks come together, it creates this great pinwheel. You know, I have to tell you that most parents are really proud of their children, <sighs> but this woman just continues to amaze me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I Thank remember you. when you first made this in the Christmas fabric, uh -huh. I thought, Friend, that is just an awesome block, and it creates so much interest and move, movement on the quilt. Yeah, it is really a lot of fun to do. I really I love, love this it. one. So, And I love these fabrics because, like I mentioned at the quilt, they're very fresh, and it's just a great summery quilt. Absolutely. So the, the focus here, this fun dot with the little pink flowers on here, we've got them in, of course, every other block and on the border. And what's really cool about this quilt, I don't know if you can see, but the quilting is actually done in a light pink thread. So it really kind of helps highlight the pink in our focus fabric. And it really adds more, even though you have a tone on tone, it adds more interest that's very subtle in very that background subtle. fabric. It does. I just mm -hmm. love the way that our long armor did that. It's mm -hmm. Very fun. Okay, so our number two fabric. Now this is a, a tone on tone, but it gives you great texture because it's just a little daisy on top. Aww. That's a white on white, which is perfect. Of course, it's going in our alternate block and our half square triangles and in the border here. It's very fun. And then our fun blue polka dot, which matches perfectly, will also be in, actually it's in every single block, and then on the binding in our little half square triangles in our pinwheel. So this is actually a one block quilt. It is a one block quilt. Wow, you're making the same block, but you're making it in alternate colors. I love that. Yeah, and you know what we say about one block quilts, they create efficiencies because you're doing the same thing over and over again which makes it very easy. That way I can make up all those stories as I'm, you know, <laughs> what this quilt's gonna be, you know. This yes. is it. <laughs> as one of our friends used to call them, the no think em quilts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. You just start sewing and well, have a good time. It's very kind of meditative to just to be able to sew and not have to constantly mm -hmm. think about what's next and what are you doing next. So right. it's very fun. 
All right, kid information on this one. This is called Picnic Pop. The number is 8023233. The pattern is Wonderland from the Make It Christmas book. And our individual pattern we're suggesting is Dominique. Wow, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed seeing the Make It Christmas book redone in these summer fabrics. Yes, I loved them. I can't decide whether I like the summer fabrics better or the Christmas fabrics better. Well, tell us in the comments what you liked better. And if you like this kind of video, you be sure to let us know too what you would like to see in the future. It's Fran Morgan and Donna Robertson. Thanks for watching.